Hey everybody, Professor Miller again. This is our next tech tip. This one is really important for online classes, especially in STEM, because showing your math um, by typing equations out can be really, really time consuming. There are fast ways to do it. There are better ways to do it, which I'm happy to show you when you get to it um, in terms of like writing reports and so forth. But for like your everyday work assignment, um, what I really want is for you to be able to take a photograph that is legible and we'll turn it into a nice PDF. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. So the first thing to do, um, you need a smartphone or a scanner. Okay. Um, I'm going to use my smartphone. It's just a, um, yeah, that's my daughter as Jigglypuff. It's adorable. Uh, I told you guys I'm a nerd, right? So the first thing you're going to do is download Google Drive. Okay, Drive, not Google Forms, not Google Slides, Drive. And once you do that, the icon is a triangle that's green, yellow, and blue. It's free. Um, once you do that and you sign into your Google account that you've already made, although I think it walks you through setting one up as well if you need to, you're gonna see, you're gonna see all the files you've uploaded rec recently, and you're also gonna see a little plus sign by my thumb, that colored plus sign. So if you push that, you're going to see this menu. Come on, camera. There we go. You're going to see this menu, right? So this is where you could make new documents, new slides, new sheets, whatever you want to do. But it's also got a scanning function that's pretty darn good. So we click that. And um, this takes you to an image. Look, I could take a picture of my green screen. Weird, right? Um, so this is just kind of like a photo looking thing, but it isn't really because when it actually takes a photograph, it, it changes it to be more legible. All right. So here's, here's a piece of work I was doing earlier. Uh, this is sloppy. You should not turn work in that looks like this, right? This was just notes for myself, but it is handy to use a pen because that shows up better. I know it's difficult because there's a lot of scribbling out. But um, when you scan things, pens come across better. If you do have to use a pencil, make sure it's really, really dark. Okay. The other tip is to have a clear area around this. I had to clean off my desk, except for the art supplies. Those are critical. If I move that, I'm pretty sure there will be 10 million of those all over my office. So I'm not going to. Um, but you got to clear the desk because if there's any sort of clutter around it, the imaging software has a hard time picking out what to photograph. It also helps to have something dark behind it. My table happens to be white, so I put a dark book there. And the reason for that is it helps for the software to recognize where the page is. So what you're gonna do is take your device, and I gotta turn this up, hang on. Okay. So this is in that scanning button, okay? And it'll kind of highlight when it's focused, and you just take the picture. If you like it, you can crop it and stuff um, in the next menu. So you just hit the check mark. Now oh, that's right. Let's see if I can make it so you guys can see what I see. Kind of. So what you're going to do here is first off, make sure that the, well, drop your phone. Just kidding. Make sure that the image is cropped in the right direction. So the cropping button is this one down at the bottom. And so I noticed that this is, we've got the book in it and I don't need that. So I'm gonna take that out. And you wanna make sure that the picture is going up and down so I can read the words, right? So the writing is going in the right direction. If it's not, you can rotate the image right here. And now this one is a key, key thing, all right? You need to have good lighting in the room you're in. Flashes on the camera will often kind of white out part of the picture. But I find that, that when you click the little artist's palette right there and then you click color, the images turn out a lot better that way. Okay, so I like to use color. But you can experiment with these. Maybe yours shows up better in black and white. This one doesn't, okay? but kind of click through those and see which one looks the best. Now, maybe that's not the only page of work that I have. We need everything in one file. So what we're gonna do is click this handy plus sign right here. I don't know why the camera's not focusing. Okay, so this is a plus sign right there. And so when you click it, it goes back to the camera. 
And so you can take as many pictures as you need to. All right, in this case, I'm just going to do two to demonstrate the point. That's a crappy picture, so you should retake that one. It's got a lot of things that need to be cropped, and it's hard to read it. But let's pretend like that's what I wanted to do. Name it something that explains what it is and who it's from. So maybe your initials and the title of the assignment or something like that. And then you just save it. You can also choose a different um, folder, wherever you want to put it. And then you save it. And then you can either download it on your computer or get you back up there. There you go, camera. You can either download it on your computer or link it directly, share it with me um, in Google or by email, however you want to do it. That's handy, free, you don't have to buy anything. Hopefully, you know, if you have a phone, you don't have to buy anything. Um, way to scan work. Um, please make sure it's cropped and in the right direction. I can't flip my laptop over to look at an upside down image. And uh, it's a lot faster and easier for me for, to give you really good feedback if I don't have to mess with the file to do it, okay? As always, if you have difficulty while you're doing this for the first few times, please reach out. I'm happy to walk you through it. I'm happy to help you with it.